Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing another Shujia Summon. So this time around, we are going to be taking a look at Pluto's Kubali Mark II. So, um, I promise I, I'm going to make this one as fast as possible because I think overall this unit tries to do something, but I think when they kind of, you know, put in the overall details for this kit, I think it lacks just a little bit. I think they could have, they, I don't think they should be reserved when they put you know play around with this unit they should add a little bit more for this unit but um i did already record my showcase for this unit over here on the jp account so i do have a little bit of uh you know know how of how this actually unit actually performs in a way so i think on my showcase i'm just gonna say disclaimer i think i mistakenly said the skill one and skill two needs is some sort of dodging to gain but it's you know now look at this it's actually on dealing damage but yeah that's definitely my bad on that one but essentially this one on dealing damage we are able to gain some beam damage this one's stacking 2.9 percent up to 20 times so within the 20 second window you could technically stacking up to 58 percent damage so that's you know pretty decent and then for the other portion is on evasion so when you are dealing damage you gain evasion rate so this one's stacking up to 46 percent and I'm just gonna say the skill 2 honestly is bad designing because on e evasion wise, it's harder to evade when you are starting out at a really low percentage, I feel like. So even though you are progressively, you know, gaining that for example, but um, more often than not, you you can't really dodge. Like, uh, especially I feel like skill 2 is designed for arena in my, you know, when I tried it out, it, it wasn't too successful. So. I feel like if they would have gave us at least like a good baseline, let's say a good 12 or 15 percent evasion to kind of give us a little bit of a kickstart, I think that could have been better. But outright right now is uh, is not the most impressive when we talking about like um, defensive aspect. But I think for offensive is all right. You know, you, you got like a base 58 percent. That's kind of it. Uh, nothing too impressive. So we have that. On the transcendent skill, we have uh, for third weapon increased accuracy by 50%, and then for third weapon as well, increased beam damage by 70%, and then EX skill gauge restored by 50% when battle begins. So that's kind of typical. So the skill, the transcendent skill, is definitely very reminiscent to any unit that has the funnels or fin funnels or whatnot, like our uh, Sasabi or New Gundam. They have something similar. Because when we do take a look at the funnels, they it, it innately has a relatively lower power modifier right away, so that's why they gotta juice things up a little bit. I think that actually helps for sure because that ensures that your funnels can actually land hits, so that's gonna allow you to gain both these over here. So that's actually you know pretty good. And in terms of EXQ wise, it's a pretty generic. You have yourself buffing. That's essentially what most units have nowadays. So that's good. And they kind of toss it like an extra accuracy in there as well. So that is uh, pretty good with that. I think when people are reading this one, this one is, is seemingly you're decreasing that, but I think that's going to be to your enemy. So if they would have said, you know, to yourself, whatever, it should have said to self something, something. But I think this one is uh, to one. Uh, to one target enemy and this so this is to the enemy as well so it, it definitely can help because that could allow this unit to survive a little bit better but then again the stacking up evasion is never the best thing possible so that is uh, definitely pretty unfortunate so i think for me honestly this is just going to be a hot skip because uh, i don't even though throughout my showcase i think for pve content it you know perform exceptionally decent because uh, the way I'm, I'm setting things up, but I think overall this is just another one, like just a really bland, pretty generic unit. <laughs> no pun intended, but uh, I, I just don't think it's gonna excel too well in the near future. So that's why, rather than say, uh, summoning for this unit, I'm just gonna skip it because I think eventually we are gonna be getting more and more cribbly variants anyway. So this is not gonna be the first, and this is gonna not gonna be the last one. So skip, skip it. But uh, when we are taking a look at Plu Truth, I, I think she's actually pretty decent. She has the same stacking mechanics, so 
these are definitely a very very powerful you know pilots you be looking at so if you are not summoning for this pilot for example or you don't want to, or you, you, you kind of need something in replacement i think the links is going to be the second in line that i think is good or the other one uh, christina mckenzie i think she's also a fairly good one so as of lately we have seen a lot of really strong candidate for pilot so we're definitely not sure of good pilot nowadays but uh, this one is just another prime example of, like why you should probably focus on the pilot rather than the unit itself because these are gonna age better uh, these are gonna always have some usage on, on them so even if you, in the near future you don't summon for the pilot or you just can't summon for the pilot uh, these are always going to be a fairly good substitute as well so stacking up to 100 or 210 wow i would have probably get this one as well so yeah that's that's really good for sure that's really good the skill 2 is honestly not the most common we have crew ability type and then we have successor unit so definitely not the most popular tags out there but uh it definitely works for this unit so i'm just gonna leave it as it is but uh other than that i think for blue two she's definitely a very good candidate to summon for if you do really desire a good green uh a, a pilot that works for green unit specifically that's for uh range sense specifically so meaning dealing range damage uh other than that i think for the quibbling mark 2 i i would say skip on it um i would not i i, I wouldn't bother right that definitely wouldn't so with that said that's gonna be pretty much it and i'll be catching you guys off on the next one